गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज वैप मल्होत्रा फ्रॉम सी ओ सिक्स बैच रोल नंबर वन जीरो वन एट जीरो थ्री वन टू नाइन टूडे आई विल बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग यू माई इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन असाइनमेंट विच इज ऑन टॉपिक टचलेस हैंड सैनिटाइजर डिस्पेंसर यूजिंग आर डी नाउ सो फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू हाउ इट विल लुक वेन इट इज फुली मेड so this is how uh, the final device would look this over here is the ultrasonic sensor which would detect uh, if the hand is present over it or not it basically works on the topic of sound detection so it will send a ultrasound uh, ultrasound signal and when it will strike on our hand and receive it back then by calculating the time taken and speed of sound we can know the distance of the object so if an object is at the appropriate distance the object being our hand then it will send uh, this distance will be calculated by the arduino and then arduino would send a signal to the servo motor which is over here to rotate if it rotates this orange thing this is the this is a thread which is connected to this box and it would uh, push the this uh, top of the bottle down which would dispense so so this is the idea behind it and this is the final product of how it would look now let me show you the circuit diagram and the working of the product so this is the final circuit diagram this is all the working behind that project so the circuit includes one arduino uh, on and off switch an ultrasound sensor which uh, i just showed in the device the sensor is hc sr0 sr04 and one servo motor and usb cable to connect to computer but later we can also use it uh, use a external power supply by uh, connecting the ground of the arduino to the ground of the battery and the positive terminal of the battery to the v in uh, connector over here so uh, this is the whole circuit uh, servo motor has three pins namely ground which is connected to the ground of the arduino power which is connected to 5 volt of arduino and signal pin which is connected to third pin in the arduino third digital input pin and this is the ultrasound sensor which has four pins first is ground which is connected to the ground then is echo which is connected to the 10th pin of the arduino then is trig which is trigger basically which is connected to the 9th pin of the arduino and this is vcc which is basically power so it is connected to 5 volt i'll explain the functions of trig and echo pins in a while and this is a switch one terminal of the switch is connected to negative uh, terminal and one uh, one side is connected to positive terminal and the common between them is connected to the third pin of uh, the sorry the second pin of the arduino and uh, i have coded it in such a way that if the second pin is high then the device should work or basically turn on so let me show you and explain you the code so like i was saying a uh, trick function uh, what it does is it just sends a signal 
basically a sound wave and then the echo from echo pin it uh, waits for receiving the sound wave and the difference between sending of the wave and receiving of the wave is saved in a variable and then uh, using the speed of sound uh, and the uh, time taken uh, distance is calculated so this is the code over here uh, so first we have included servo libraries so that we can perform functions on on the server motor easily now we have created a servo object to control our servo motor these are just uh, variables that i've defined that i'm using in the code so the servo motor is connected to pin 3 trick pin is 9 echo pin is 10 the button is calculated to pin 2 and these are the duration and distance which i will use later so in void setup i have declared the trick pin as output as it sends the signal echo pin as input as it receives the signal and button also as input because we are giving it a signal and by this function my servo dot attach i have basically uh, told the arduino that i have a servo motor attached to pin 3 now this is serial begin that i have used to communicate uh, using serial port and now my servo dot write uh, in zero this basically it's the servo or you could say it brings the servo to its initial position that is zero degree angle now void loop is the code that keeps on running continuously so this is the if condition that if the button is high then all the code should run so first of all i have cleared the trick pin like if it is sending any uh, junk signal it should not send that and basically send uh, zero value then we are waiting for two microseconds and then it sends a high signal for 10 microseconds and then sends low signal again so basically it sends a pulse of 10 microseconds so now uh, duration is a variable that i have declared and i am using pulse in function which measures the time for which high pulse was detected so it basically detects how long after how much while did we receive the signal basically for how long echo pin received high signal now with that we calculate distance this is basically the speed of sound divided by 2 because sound has to travel twice the distance it goes to the object and comes back so this is basically 0 0.034 divided by 2 now i have printed the distance over here and then if the distance is less than 150 then uh, i have instructed the servo to go to 90 degree angle wait for 2.5 seconds for the soap to drop on the person's hand and then go back to 0 degree angle and then it will wait for 2.5 seconds so that person can remove his hand from that and it does not continuously keep dropping the soap and if that is not true if there is no person's hand in there the servo should be in an initial position now let me show you the working and simulate our, my project so i turn the button on right first you can see nothing is happening right now this over here shows the distance and we can also see that in serial monitor so right now nothing is happening because the switch is off now i turn on the switch and now we can see that distance is showing over there also and if i bring it closer now it is uh, dispensing the soap and now it's back i can go back once again if a person puts his hand there it would dispense soap for 2.5 seconds and then go back so this is my project uh, thank you for listening to my demonstration.